Ever since we were founded, the team's been continually getting better. We started out with a sub that wasn't even waterproof, the CB1, we moved on to the CB2, and last year we had this great new design that got us sixth place. So every year in the competition, we've been getting better and better. The underwater robotics team participates in an annual competition in San Diego, where we basically build an autonomous submarine, which has to go through a maze-like environment and get through as many tasks as it can. I think there is a very interesting convergence right now uh, between traditional robotics and AI and computer science algorithms and on, one, on the one hand and uh, neuroscience algorithms on the other hand. And this brings uh, very interesting synergies uh, by which we can try to learn how biological brains uh, solve uh, interaction with the real world and how we can apply that to robotic systems. In the coming years, we're going to see robotics doing more and more things. So it's really important to get people, especially at the undergraduate level, involved in robotics so that when robots start doing more and more in the coming years, our students are prepared and can be a part of that. We have the USC Competition Robotics Society, which is geared towards organizing social events, uh, academic events, and outreach events. And this or society actually is the umbrella organization for the two competition teams that we have. USC's competition robotics team has existed for a number of years as an exclusively underwater endeavor. Uh, this year we have stepped up, stepped up to a similar challenge where we're tasked with creating a helicopter-like device to navigate a building it's never seen before. Uh, though this challenge is very different from that faced by our underwater brethren, both teams are broken down into electrical, mechanical, and software subteams that prepare our vehicles for our respective annual international robotics competitions. The electrical team creates the sensors that give readings to the software team, and everyone relies on the hardware team to make the platform for the entire submarine. So while there are three distinct divisions within the team, everyone works together to create the final product. This has been a great experience in visualizing dependencies. You know, when you're, you're building an entirely new software system uh, meant to integrate all these new kinds of uh, sensors and, and actuators on a vehicle that has never really existed before, it becomes crucial to find bottlenecks in the process before they slow the whole team down. So what we've done is not only focus on that technical aspect, but also look into how we could foster this kind of robotics knowledge and science and technology in general to the youth. Uh, each year the team participates in our school's engineering fair where we show local middle school kids what they can do with uh, hands-on technical education. Also this year we're starting to mentor local high school first robotics teams in the hopes that they will continue their education in college and hopefully beyond that. We also do events within the club. For example, we'll watch football games together. We also like to make our wet tests into social events. So we'll bring pizza, soda, and make it fun so that we can have fun while learning. Uh, the, the real joy in this organization is because there are a lot of people, a lot of creative ideas, and everyone listens to each other. So by doing that, people can learn, people can discover a lot of new things. The team has done really great. Uh, we started with building robots out of spare parts and um, very simple designs to building very sophisticated robots. Uh, the students on the team are very talented and they have learned a lot of different techniques for how to do real engineering uh, out of what started as a simple club. You know, talk to any veteran of the robotics team and he or she will probably tell you that this has been the epitomal technical learning experience that they have encountered in college. Uh, we really strive to give undergraduates hands-on projects where they learn things not even touched on in the classroom and our track record proves that this approach is pretty successful once they enter industry. There's nowhere else on campus where you get to see a project from beginning until end and be involved in every step of that and then see the final project in action at the end of the year.